For the people of the Columbia River and the high plateau of Middle Oregon, life historically revolved around the seasons. The cycle of food gathering, raising children, learning from elders, and a spiritual lifeway sustained villages and communities. Hunting, fishing, and gathering were physical tasks woven into everyday life. Family members each played a role. All roles were critical in survival. When the Warm Springs Indian Reservation of Oregon was established by the Treaty of 1855, tribal members moved from their ancestral homelands along the Columbia River and its tributaries to the high desert of central Oregon in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. Northern Paiute people moved to the reservation in the late 1800s, having come from areas in southeastern Oregon, eastern California, and western Nevada. Although the treaty guaranteed the right to hunt, fish, and gather foods at all the usual and accustomed places, the abrupt disruption to a way of life has had lasting impacts. Where once natural foods made up the people's diet, there was the introduction of Western foods such as sugar and flour. Policies to civilized Native Americans replaced the daily physical gathering tasks with work related to farming. The providing of material goods set aside the routine of creating what was needed for survival. More than 160 years later, the Warren Springs Reservation community faces significant health challenges. The change of lifestyle, the introduction of unhealthy habits, the negative impact of relocation and oppression have been detrimental. Today, many suffer from chronic liver disease and cirrhosis, diabetes, and substance abuse. High levels of risk factors are observed throughout the community, but personal choices underlie the cause of many illnesses and injuries. Reducing risks and charting a path to better health is a very high priority for the reservation's health system and the community. For both adults and especially youth, evidence-based tribal best practices include the reduction of negative risk factors and the increase of protective factors. Research has suggested that protective factors that promote Indian health and healing include connectedness to family, emotional health, and culturally specific programs that strengthen family ties and spiritual orientation. Years back, they never had lawn houses. The families would be out somewhere and then they'd say the roots are right and they'd get two or three families together and all gather at one place. And even then, they didn't have new material to get, but they'd get out their brightest material and their brightest clothes to put on. But they made sure they had new moccasins Something new to wear to show the to show the creator that they appreciate that they were going to have new roots for the year, and that was just our way. By working across programs like juvenile justice, youth wellness, behavior health, community health, culture and heritage, human services, drug and alcohol prevention, a common thread of cultural learnings is being pulled to engage people in our community into positive activities. We had about eight beginner cutters, and you can tell, but the fish will still taste good. It's good. It's good teaching. Yesterday, they was getting taught, teaching how to cut salmon and deer meat. Oh, it's very important for them to learn their own culture and their language, and when they grow up, they need to teach their kids the meaning of the long ass way. I learned how to make my first drum. It turned out well. The picture I put on it was a hummingbird because it's my grandma's Indian name because there's barely anyone that knows how to teach this stuff, and we're running out of people that knows how to do it. We started out in the Soaring Butterflies Warrior Spirit class at the middle school. Before the feast even came up, we talked about gathering and the traditional foods and getting ready and preparing for them for us to get ready to dig. It was a real blessing today to, to go out and uh, gather with them. And it was a lot of fun. Heard a lot of fun stories and we had a good time. Activities can involve traditional practice, dance, song, language and history. In addition to the classes, groups and events themselves, Community media reinforces the learning content, pushes out messages about opportunities, and celebrates the efforts. Collecting data over time from those who have engaged in learning about distinctive cultural practices and the history of historical impacts affecting tribal lifeways will demonstrate success in individuals making healthier choices. Learning opportunities have specific content goals, and additionally, relationships between people are nurtured and individuals are able to connect to their heritage while forging a positive path forward.